Now we remove the right side bracket so this nut will loosen counterclockwise. We take the nut off. Now to remove the crank you will need a crank puller otherwise it's extremely difficult. Make sure that the crank puller can is as far in as possible on the in the crank. Move this all the way to the back as you can. Now we push in this part and this takes the crank off really easily. Okay, now we need to loosen the screws. Okay, now we pull this one off and then we need to loosen this, the collar that's there. We need to remove it. And now we can install our pedal sensor. To put the pedal sensor in, I'm putting it into some water. This is to show you that it's waterproof, but also it will make it easier to slide this sensor onto the spindle. So you need to twist and push, twist and push, and now it's onto the spindle. Okay, so now we push it in and then we take the sensor position fixing bracket, it goes on like this, you see, so this part will go over the cable, then you fix it on here and then this will secure the sensor, it will stop it from rotating once we put the uh, right side bracket on so then you put the collar on and then you put the right side bracket on and then we put the screws on back again make sure the holes are matching There we go. Make sure to put on some blue Loctite on the screws again. So you take your blue Loctite, take your screw, then put on a little bit, put the screw in, Okay, then we tighten it a little bit, then we take this one out, put blue Loctite on it, 
and then put it on back again. Okay, now we tighten the screws. Then, again, we put the crank on back again. Put the washer on back again. And then we put the nut on back again with the blue Loctite. Then we Put the blue Loctite on here. We start tightening again. Then we use our ratchet. We clean the excess off. Now we need to reroute the sensor cable. And for that, we need to take the bash guard off. Three position switch. We put it on the handlebar. And then we take the lower fixing part. And then we take these small screws that it comes with. Then we tighten one a little bit. Then we take the second one and tighten, tighten it on the rear part. Okay. Okay, there we go, now it's secured. Now we are going to route the three position switch cable. So we open this cable guide we have right here, put the cable back there, and then close the cable guide again. Then we take the end of the cable, which should be like this, female, and we put it right here behind the light this is just a suggested route you can you you can do any route you want and then we take the cable from make sure there are no cables behind it just put it in front i mean behind all cables then we take off the switch cover I prefer to put in this cable through the right side of the switch cover because on the left side we already have a good amount of cables so we just remove the screws make sure to keep them safe remove the switch cover Put it here on one side. And there you might get a better view. And then we just take the cable, put it in here, open the battery cover area and pull the cable until we have we have it here then we put the switch cover back on
Now we can tighten down the screws. And we have this cable coming in through the right side. Tighten down here. Tighten down here. This is the same three position switch as the Suron. And if you can see, the cable is coming out through there. And now we just fix it in a while. Now to remove the bash guard, you take the Allen wrench and loosen the screws. It's going to be four screws, two on the right side and two on the left side. Loosen here or remove this one. Then you loosen this one. You don't need to remove it. Then you repeat the procedure on the other side. So now, once you remove the screws on both sides, then you can lower down the bash guard. And then you can route the sensor cable by putting it in through the bash guard. And then you can put it in through these cables. Now we need to remove the battery. Now to remove the battery, you need to remove this connector. Push this pin here and remove the connector. Then you can just pull the battery out. And now we have some more free space to work here. Now you take your cable push it in through here then what you can do is you push it behind the battery um, the battery bracket here and you keep pushing up trying to put the cable maybe it will try to come out this side on the, on the controller side then you just push it back in and what we're trying to do is have the controller, have the cable pop out through here. So we start, there it is. We just route it a little again with our finger, push. There it's coming out. Okay, now I have it. Here it is. Then we just pull. and have that cable sitting here and now we can put the battery back in and it would it won't interfere with our battery once you have the battery inside again don't connect the energy plug but in order to have this lid or battery cover stay up just take your cable from your three position sensor put it in through through this receiver here and just leave the cable sitting there or staying here and that will keep your battery cover up while you do that work now we need to find three connectors one is this one this black connector that's loose here and then we need to find the throttle connector that it's going to be a triangular shaped connector and it has a green red and black wire then we need to open this connector be careful not to snap the cables and then you just need it open like this now we're ready to connect our pedal controller okay what we need to do now is connect the white connector from the from our pedal controller take the white connector the male one and put it into the female connector here okay then you take the female connector and put it on the male connector 
of the throttle here of the bike's throttle make sure it clicks okay there it clicked now take this other connector and put it into the loose connector there okay now we take the female connector from the pedal controller and take our pedal sensor cable and connect it here make sure you have the matching arrows connect and finally you can connect the three position sensor sorry three position switch cable and that it's female with the Kaniwawa controller here make sure you have the matching arrows once you have connected all of the cables then we need to make this neat as possible then what I suggest is you put the cables here below the sensor sorry the the ignition switch cover and you put the cables in there and below the battery connector and you can just put your pedal controller there like this okay and then just make sure you can close the lid softly I mean doesn't have to be hard now it closed and we have our pedal assist controller installed we need to put the bash guard back on so we just find a suitable position for this cables inside here okay now we just push it back on Take the allen wrench, fix the screws. Now we need to fix this one. Also, it has a nut behind, so you can just uh, fix it with your finger and then it'll tighten by itself.